All right, what's up everyone? Uh, so you're ready to have your paradigm shifted? Uh, because in this video, we're going to talk about bibliography management in LaTeX. Uh, and once you have this set up, you will never look back at Word or anything else. Um, of course, there are lots of reasons you're never going to look back, but bibliography management is one of the best. Um, so I'm going to open the scary looking file here. Uh, this is actually my uh, bibliography index that I have. So everything that I have cited in any one of my papers or theses or uh, anything in the past, uh, since I've been using LaTeX for a couple of years, is in this file. Every time I read something new, I just reflexively put it in here. It has the author, title, year, publisher, whatever I need of each of these resources. Now, this might look intimidating. I mean, it is 1,500 lines or whatever. Um, but once I put something in this file, I will never have to think about it ever, ever, ever again. Because what's, once it's in this file, LaTeX will take care of everything for me. Now, how does this work? How, what is the logic of bibliographies in LaTeX? It's really simple. So whenever I put an entry in, actually, let's make one up of our own. Let's say I want to make a book entry. So you just say, at book. Uh, and then you open the brackets. And first you think of a tag to tag this with. We'll just tag it with test. This is never going to appear. This is just what LaTeX uses to refer to it. Um, then we'll say, let's say the author, and you put the author in uh, quotation marks. We'll make it me. Then you comma. Now notice I put uh, last name first. You can put first name without a comma and then last. That's fine. LaTeX is smart enough to deal with it. It's usually safer to do last name, comma, first, and middle, whatever else. Um, but anyway, so author, title, um, my first, we should probably capitalize it, my first book, exclamation point. Uh, you know, you can put your year. We'll make the year current year, 2017. And um, publisher, we'll say Luke Publishing. Uh, if I ever had a publisher, I'd name it something smarter than that. But we've just added a little entry to this bibliography file. Um, so once I've put something in here, and once I've labeled it, and I've labeled it with this test thing, whenever I call this in my document, LaTeX will automatically put the reference in for me and deal with everything. Let me show you what that looks like. Let me show you how to make it work. Um, so first off, there are different options for the specific packages that you use for um, compiling uh, or for bibliography management. I'm going to use uh, Bieber or Bibber, whatever it is. I'm not quite sure. B-I-B-E-R. Um, now, I will note that those of you who are using Arch like me, um, this is not automatically installed with TechLive Most. I don't know if it's an automatically installed with Ubuntu. Um, but you're going to want to install this Bieber, Bibber, make sure it's there. Or if you're using Mac or Windows, you might want to double check. But this is what I'm going to use. If you don't want to use this, there are other ways of compiling, um, you know, or managing bibliography, which is, you know, more or less the same, uh, but you might have to look it up. This is the one I use because it works well with my auto compile system, which of course I'm not using now, but uh, anyway, I like this more for different reasons. Anyway. Let's let me go ahead and tell you. Remember, uh, in this file, we named we named the new resource we the new book we made test. That's it. So how do we call that? Well, first we have to uh, in our in, before we have our begin document tag, uh, we are going to use a package. We're going to call a new package, uh, and we're going to call biblotech. Uh, I'm assuming you do have packages installed. Uh, if you don't, it'll probably prompt you to install this, um, but uh, that's, you know, you need this. So biblotech. Uh, and I'm also going to say in brackets before this command, this is where you put different parameters. And I'm going to put in the parameters, um, we'll say uh, backend equals bibber. And you close your square brackets. So that's, that's all we need to call the package. Uh, the other thing we need to do is add bib resource. Uh, and this is a function which adds the file that I just showed you a second ago. And that's in the same directory as this file. It's just uni.bib. Um, so I'm just going to call uni.bib. Uh, and the last thing you need to do is wherever you want your references, you just call the command print references. And this command is going to automatic, oops, accidentally exited out. Um, so this command is going to print all the references that you have for this document.
Now, if we compile this, you should see, uh, oops, no, not print reference, print bibliography, silly me. Um, graphy, print bibliography, crap, exited again. I'm kid just pressing all these random buttons. So we'll compile that and you should see nothing will happen. That's because we're not calling the entire file and all the references. LaTeX only uses the references you specifically name. Um, so let's go ahead and pull one up. Um, so again, the one we had before was just a test. Um, but let's go ahead and implement that in the text. Let's say um, as uh, text site test says um, there's no reason not to use LaTeX uh, for bibliography management. I'm too lazy to write it all out. Doesn't matter. Um, so once we have put this in, this is the text site command, and this treats this will call the reference that you know whose uh, tag you've called, um, and it'll call it as if it's an in-text uh, citation. So if we recompile this, first nothing will happen. It'll just say test. What you have to do after that is say bibber or bieber, whatever it is, and then type in the name of your document. Don't include the dot tech, just include the name, and then run that. Uh, and that might take a second. Um, but once it's done, now your references are ready. Now you recompile it once again. And you will see that this reference has appeared. Now it is Smith. It is called the last name of that author. It's given it a number. And this number refers to uh, the reference, which is down here. If you add more references, more of them will get numbered. Now, uh, this so this is nice. This, by default, it's going to use this sort of, uh, it's more characteristic of the hard sciences where you have numbers in text and they refer to references down here. I don't usually use this. Um, I usually use something similar to like APA or MLA when you have like a last name and then a year. So you can change that by going up to the use package command. And um, in, you know, where we put backend uh, bibber, uh, add a comma and we can add another parameter. And the one I usually like uh, is to set the style to the following, uh, author year hyphen I comp. Uh, and once you do that, that's the file, I, that's the sort of format I like. So now let's re repeat our uh, compiling process. So PDF uh, LaTeX uh, La 3, that's my file name. Select Bibber again, so Bibber LaTeX 3, and then compile it once more. And now you will have everything exactly how I want it. You know, so Smith 2007 says, there's no reason, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and now we have the reference in the way I want. Uh, you got everything properly formatted. For example, the title is italic. Uh, I never told it to do that. It knew because it's a book to italicize the name. Uh, everything like that is done perfectly. Uh, and of course, I can call other things. So I don't know. Um, well, I should say... So this is text site. If you want everything to be in parentheses, you can use the parent site command. So um, let's say we have some kind of sentence. This is something you'll commonly have, some kind of claim, uh, and you want to uh, sort of, um, you know, cite someone to support that. So you can use the command parent site. And then let's use someone else. Let's say Chomsky 2005. Okay, that's who we're going to cite for this uh, jumble of sentences or jumble of words. Um, so if you, again, just recompile PDF LaTeX, uh, Bieber LaTeX, and then uh, PDF LaTeX again, uh, you will see that now this reference, which I have in my uh, bibliography, now appears automatically. Um, everything's ordered. It's an article, so it knows to put quotation marks around it. It knows to italicize this. Everything works perfectly. So this is what I meant by uh, every, you don't have to deal with any kind of bibliography management anymore. Once I have put something into this file where I have all of my uh, references, I will never have to worry about any of them. All of them are done, done automatically. 
Um, so anyway, this is sort of the glory of dealing with references in LaTeX. There's this automatic way of dealing with them. So anyway, we're going to have some more stuff coming up soon, more LaTeX syntax. Uh, but once you get the hang, I'm telling you, once you get the hang of references, uh, this is going to make your life so much easier. So I hope you learned something. Uh, see you next time.